There are many ways to sharpen a chisel. Here's how I do mine. It's very quick, it's very fast. I have uh, diamond plates, 250 grit, 600 grit, 1200 grit. I spray some lapping fluid on it, which is just window cleaner. You could use water, doesn't matter. Um, I, I tip the chisel uh, edge over here till I see the uh, water getting squeezed out. That way I know that the edge of my chisel is making contact with the um, uh, with the surface here and then I just go one, two, it's a gen gentle rocking motion because I'm going for a convex camber which is more effective usually than a micro bevel. It works really well for me. How far do I keep going? I keep going till I feel a burr. And I'm using the whole surface of the plate and I'm starting to feel a slight burr. I'm feeling the burr. I'm going to get rid of the burr over here and then go to the uh, 600 grit. With practice, this will get even faster. Now I feel the burr again. I'm gonna get rid of the burr over here. I'm gonna go to the 1200 grit. Try to use the entire width of the diamond plate and I feel a very fine burr. I'm going to polish this on this side very quickly. I'm not lifting the edge, I'm just polishing the the face real good. And when I do that and the burr has come off, the burr's actually moved to the front, so it's just a little here, a little here. And the burr is gone. Once the burr is gone, I take my uh, strop, which is just a piece of leather glued to a piece of wood, and I ch charge it with chromium oxide, bevel side down. a couple dozen times and then I do the you can already see how the polish has started to come face side the flat side bevel side flat side no burr and this is how how good the edge comes out to be as really sharp this is just a piece of pine here. Absolutely no effort. It's like hot knife on butter. It's beautiful. So this is how I do this chisel. This uh, this chisel. Is, uh, so this is wide enough here, where I can keep it flat with my uh, with my hands and get a, get the this edge fairly perpendicular to this edge. But for something smaller like this uh, half inch chisel uh, that I have been um, using to chop mortises, I'm going to use a honing guide because this chisel tends to walk on me and uh, gets me, uh, doesn't give me a very flat uh, perpendicular edge. So I've set the chisel uh, to to be about 30 degrees between the back of the chisel and the and the rollers of the uh, honing guide and I'm going to do the same way here like I did. Keep going till I feel a burr. There we go, just front and back even strokes, not pressing down very hard. And I feel a burr already. I 
set this angle slightly higher than 30 because it will help me chop these mortises that I'm chopping. By the way, I've been chopping these mortises. I have six more mortises to chop on the legs of this bench that I'm building. So you should check out uh, my uh, weekly vlog where I'm building the workbench. I'm having lots of fun building that bench. Anyway, so this is now sharpened on that edge. I'm going to un get this uh, honing guide off. Remove this gently and I'm going to uh, flatten the base of the chisel. It's come out pretty good and then get that bevel again and then flatten the base again and I got the burrs out. You can see this is uh, this is starting to look fairly sharp and press down. Once I get the chromium oxide on this thing, I don't have to keep adding chromium oxide to it. And that should be plenty. Get the bottom polished. And that should do it. This is really nice and shiny and polished. Look at that. That's pretty good. And it is just as sharp as that other chisel. Just as sharp at, as any chisel you might throw at it. Look at that. You can do this all day. So um, this method is not a new method by any means. Uh, if you've uh, been following uh, woodworking um, videos on YouTube, uh, this is how Paul Sellers does it. This is how I like to do it. It's fast, it's simple, it's easy. And all the investment you need is these uh, diamond plates. Uh, when I first bought these diamond plates, I did not build a holder. I was just using them on a bench hook and it works just fine. So um, go uh, go over here, watch Paul Seller's videos on um, how to sharpen a chisel. He's obviously uh, really, really good. Uh, his videos are really, really informative. It's very similar to what this is. Uh, also, there are some really cool videos by Paul Sellers on how to prepare a chisel once you've bought a new one. So go over here to watch that too. Um, this is this is it. This is how I sharpen my chisels. It's quick, it's fast. And... Um, I will see you in the next video.